today we're going to be looking at relays, how they work and how to test them. This relay we have here is from a car. It was used to turn on and off the headlights. We can see initially it has four terminals. Two thinnish ones and two thicker ones. The two smaller terminals are always used to send power to the coil itself. This coil will then activate the other two, essentially closing a switch. This relay itself is called an SPST, meaning single pole, single throw, which means that it is one input and one output. It is also abbreviated to NO, standing for normally open, means that when, meaning that when the power is sent to the coil, it'll open the circuit. The most common problem with these type of relays is that the coil gets burnt out in them, or the contacts get dirty or just worn. So to test that the coil is still okay, using a multimeter set on the ohms range, we probe the two small terminals that are attached to the coil inside. Here you can see that we get 72 ohms, which is a good reading, meaning that there's still a good coil in there. There's no breaks in the wire that we can see. Testing between the other two, we should see OL, meaning unlimited resistance. To open up these type of relays, there are four plastic tabs on the bottom of the relay itself. You prise those open with a screwdriver and then slide open. We can see here now the copper coil, made up of many, many small, thin windings of copper wire. When powered up, it sucks open, sucks this little plate back onto it, which closes the contacts in here. That sends the power from here to here across the thick terminals at the bottom, allowing your current to pass. It's a good idea to visually inspect these to see that they're not dirty, that the contacts aren't worn down, and that this wire here isn't burnt up. To test the mechanical operation of your relay, you can set your meter to continuity, or ohms again. Put your test leads across the two thick terminals on the bottom of the relay, and then use your finger to actually physically close the, the contacts. We can hear the meter beep, meaning that they're joined up, so we have continuity. You can also test it by putting power into the coil. You'll generally need a good 12 volts to do this, and then you will hear click, and then you can test your continuity again across these two leads to see that it's working perfectly. So that's some of the ways to test a relay, and a very brief introduction on how they work. Um, there are many different types of relays, many different ways of testing them. Hopefully this will just give you some idea of how to test them with a multimeter and by visually inspecting them.